I've been um, walking the alleys and streets of Old Littleton, Colorado. Um, those of you who've been subscribers for a while know that I've spent a lot of time down here. I take a lot of photos in downtown Old Littleton and uh, I take a lot of photos in the alleys. I haven't been down here doing this for quite a while, but a lot of the things are still the same. Uh, my lens selection is kind of holding me back and it seems like I'm always complaining about light, but uh, what was a partly cloudy day with big puffy clouds, as you can see, there's still some of that going on. Um, there's also a big overcast over here and that's where the sun is. So, um, suffering with the light just a bit, uh, as I've said now several times, I prefer a haze. But you know, you gotta work with what you got. I've been looking for a good composition, but my lens selection today is a 90, a 120, and a 210. That lens selection is turning out to be a bit tough because space is limited in alleyways. Uh, so the 210 is pretty much too tight to use in these alleys. And 120 is wide enough that I feel the need to move in close to the subject or even be in the alley itself. Moving in close kind of sucks because that's somebody's property. Standing in the alleyway sucks because it takes a while to set up and if somebody needs to get by, you gotta take down. Anyway, I found this scene here. I believe I'm going to take a stab at shooting it. We've still got the Simpsons clouds in the background. So uh, I think we're gonna set up. The 120 will work. Uh, as I said though, I'm gonna have to set up here in the alley right in front of the subject in order to get the composition I want. Now you guys have probably watched enough of these videos you can imagine what I've set up here. The composition's right there. I want to get the peak of that roof in for sure. So as you might imagine I've put some rise on the front standard. Not a lot, just enough to get the composition right. Camera is level. I may make some adjustments for the image itself, for the composition that is, uh, but I'm starting with the camera level and uh, I might do a little bit of shift if necessary. Now that the camera set up and level that'll make it so that I don't really have to move the camera to adjust the composition. In these conditions, uh, an incident reading is just fine, so I've got the uh, meter pointed back towards the camera. I'm shooting at uh, 80 ISO. Uh, the film is 100, but I'm shooting at an exposure index of 80. So that reading gives me f5.6 at an 80th of a second. Obviously, I'm going to adjust that and probably to more like f16 or maybe even higher. Uh, so I'm going to go set up the camera. The Schneider 120 is such a perfect lens that uh, when I'm out shooting and not taking the camera down much between shots, I just leave it on because nine times out of ten, uh, it's going to work fine for my composition. So uh, eventually I'll do a, a more detailed overview of this camera, but it's on a folding rail. So all I got to do is pull it off the tripod, fold it, throw it in the bag, and I just leave the lens on it. A lot of large format guys will probably think I'm nuts, but I'm using the Gitzo 1500 that I've been talking about. Uh, it's a 1580, and this is the really right stuff BH30 that I put onto it recently and did a video about that. And, uh, you know, as long as you're not set up in crazy wind and in stable conditions and you don't need a ton of height, I don't know, seems like it works fine. I used it on this shot anyway. We'll see, you know, 
what the result is, but uh, pretty convenient and super light to carry around. So I like it. Oh, this would be great on color film, but I'm not shooting color film. Maybe another time. I've shot this gate two or three different times. Um, I think once with a Leica in 35 millimeter, uh, once with Fuji GW690 medium format, a six by nine centimeter shot. Maybe once with the Hasselblad, I don't really remember. Maybe. And it always looks the same. It's always a jar. It's always got these vines growing. I'll leave it for today. The light's not good enough. Maybe I'll shoot Littleton Town Hall. Nice architectural shot. Kind of an interesting building. It's got some interesting architectural detail. Uh, lights in the trees. The lights aren't on, but uh, other detail. I just am kind of interested to see what sort of details you can pick up in large format versus medium format versus 35 millimeter versus digital, etc. So uh, I think I'll set this up. It'll it might draw a crowd. Hopefully not. So here we go. So I use the artist's viewfinder that I've talked about in other videos to check the framing on this. And guess which lens works perfectly? Yes, the Schneider 120 millimeter. So that's what I'm gonna set up. It's already on the camera. I'm ready to rock, except for setting up a tripod, attaching the camera to it, all that crap. Okay, unsurprisingly, the exposure is about the same. The light hasn't changed much. It's cloudy, the light's distributed really well. Uh, in terms of setup, uh, by now you can probably guess what I've done. I've used some rise to get the top of the building in and I ended up using a little bit of shift to uh, adjust the composition so the building is square. Okay, well that went pretty well. Um, I don't think I screwed up. Uh, I was afraid I would start getting questions about the camera and about do they still sell film and all that stuff. Uh, and I don't mind that, don't get me wrong. I, I like talking to people about this stuff, but uh, the problem is when you're shooting large format, there's, there's a lot of things to get wrong. And if you aren't concentrating, you will get one of them wrong and that will ruin the photo. Good chance of it anyway. So it's nice not to be interrupted.